Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It's the last day of our school week. All right. This is the last day on Sight Word Me. It's the last day on Digraph CK that says K. It's May. It's a sunny day. Today's the 15th day. And this is how you write the date. 5-15-2020. And Pigeon is standing on number 157. 157. And of course that means you're 157 days smarter today. All right, Fridays are fun. You have a free ride. You can write about anything you want, okay? All I ask is that you try to write three or four sentences. Don't forget a title. Give your reader uh, information about what they're gonna read. Books have titles. This title, the book of, the, <laughs> the title of this book is The Seashore. That means we're gonna be talking about things that are shell, at the seashore. Shell. Shells and fish and other little animals, right? Um, let's see, this book, oh, let's see. The title is Jellyfish. Well, jellyfish. it tells the reader they're gonna read about jellyfish, not dolphins, not crabs, jellyfish. Oh my, that's... The title of this book is Whales. Yeah. You're gonna learn about all kinds of whales, okay? All right, TK friends, so that's very important. Don't forget your titles, okay? All right, so let's look, um, before we look at our daily checklist, check in with your emotions. How are you feeling today? Let moms and grandparents and, par and dads know about it. They can help you, okay? All right, here we go, Friday. Friday, May 15th, TK Spirit Day, woohoo! Wear a Hawaiian dress, Hawaiian shirt, uh, any Hawaiian print, anything, a fl flowers, a lei, a lei that you can wear, flowers in your hair, anything that reminds you of Hawaii, even a little necklace, okay, my friends, if you would like. That's kind of nice. All right, we have a, a me page, a math page, and a free write. Yay, Fridays. All right. Hey, where's my stuff? Oh, here it is. Sorry. All right, here we go. This is your me page. The cat is by me. All right, cut it out, put it where it belongs in the correct order. Trace the sentence. The cat is by me. And there's a little period there. I know you can't see it, so try to go over it, okay? And your picture, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, okay, mama. Yeah, I'm okay, so yeah. The picture makes sense with your sentence. So I have a picture of a cat and it's by me, okay? All right, TK friends. Your math. There is a separate video for math that you can look at for step-by-step -step instructions, but I think you really understand um, word problems and specifically addition word problems. We will be working on subtraction. That'll come soon, okay, my friends? All right, TK friends, let me read it to you, and then maybe you want to try it on your own, and then check the video if you'd like, or you might not even have to look at the math video. It's up to you. It says, four frogs are in the pond. Two more frogs jump in. How many frogs are in the pond? So how many frogs are in the pond? All right. Notice it doesn't say in all, and it doesn't say all together. It says, it asks, how many frogs are in the pond? So in my picture, that's why I drew like a little pond. I didn't color it blue, because then I don't think you would be able to see my froggies. So let's start with our 10 frame. The first number we have in our math story or word problem is four. Four froggies. I made four, the first four froggies light green and then the, the two that jumped into the pond, uh, dark green, okay? So that's my 10 frame for a total. If you just look at the 10 yeah. frame, you know you have six. That's the nice thing about filling out a 10 frame, okay? A picture helps you draw the four first froggies that were already in and the two that jumped in and we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six here, six here. You know what to do on the number line. The equations start with the first number, add it to the second number, and you have six. Ah, uh, the number bond looks just like the equation. Four plus two is six, and then six frogs. Make sure you write the word frogs. And if you don't know how to spell it, you look back up here. It tells you how many frogs, not how many cats, no. How many fish, no. How many frogs? Froggies, frogs. Okay, TK friends. I don't even think you have to look at the other math video. It's, it's, it'll be ready and available for you, okay? And your free write. I didn't write anything yet. I think I'm gonna use um, our Zoom class to work on, to write about something, maybe about tide pools. 
I'd like to know what you know about tide pools so far to help me write about tide pools, okay? Tide you pools. write about anything you want today. That's what the free write is for. And hopefully this is a page or any writing that you have that mommies and daddies or you can take a picture and put on Seesaw, okay? Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, one more thing before I let you go. On, on School Speak, mommies and daddies have access or can get some of these pages that I have for you. This is not something you have to do. They're called may do's. Um, Sophia, you're right in front of the camera, my friend. There, it's a called it's called a may do. You may write these sentences, and it's about tide pools. Okay, so I see anemone. I see barnacles. I see clams. I see a sea jelly. Okay, there's another paper similar to that and this is I see a crab I see a sea urchin oh we talked about a sea urchin yesterday I see a sea star I see a shell and it's a cute coloring page it just reinforces some of the typo animals that we have learned and will be learning okay there's even a cool little um section that says tide pool animals and then not tide pool animals and you have a selection of animals to choose from so half it well some of these will go on the not tide pool animals so for example the whale the whale is too large of a sea creature to live in a tiny tide pool okay uh, a sea star so wait sorry the whale is not a tide pool animal and a sea star, that tiny little star right there, we see in tide pools. They get stuck in tide pools when the, the tide goes back and it recedes. Some, some sea creatures are left behind and a sea, um, sea star is one of them. So if you would like to do that, you can do that as well. We will probably do that in class together. You do not have to do this work, my friends. It's just may do. Extra things you might want to do if you want, if you have extra time or just want to do extra. Okay, TK friends, have a great weekend. See you during our Zoom meeting if you happen to join us today. Um, be kind to moms and dads and grandparents if you live with them or if, if they're taking care of you while mommies and daddies are working. And just be extra kind. Okay, my friends? All right, have a good weekend. Mama. You want to say have a good weekend? Mama. Bye. <laughs> Bye, friends.